All right, what's happening, my dudes? My name is Kevin Duty, and we are back home with my setup. I have my background, my mic, all my tools, everything at my disposal once again. If you don't watch my videos, then you don't know why that is significant. But I was basically on a little vacation to my folks' house because my housemates all had COVID, but they have made a very easy and swift recovery, so I'm back home amongst all of my favorite things, and it feels pretty good. So, today we are talking about two of my all-time favorite Civivi knives. Civivi? <coughs> Civivi, if you don't know, is a budget line under well I guess yeah you, I guess you'd say under the we umbrella we is made by the same manufacturer but it's a more premium line of knives and Civivi is uh, a more budget oriented line of knives um, although they are budget oriented uh, I would venture to say that Civivi has some of the best fit and finish that you can get for the price right now in the universe. Um, they just they craft their knives very very well. Their tolerance are their tolerances are tight. Their fit and finish is just really good. Um, they use good materials, and um, they're just overall, I think the best budget line and some of my favorite knives um, at least budget knives are made by Civivi so highly recommend a Civivi you know if if a friend or somebody asks me for a knife recommendation for under a hundred bucks it's almost always going to be a Civivi that I am recommending to them and usually it's the it's this one the Praxis that I recommend this uh, this is the Praxis, and I really, really love this knife. I've done a little bit of messing around, uh, you know, modifying this one. I cut some stuff into the G10 here, and, and lanyard, and carved a little little symbol there. Um, but when you get it from Civivi, you know, it's just, just plain G10. It comes in a couple different colors. You can get... Um, this satin finished blade or a coated blade. This is my favorite version. Um, it came with gold liners, and I didn't really like that, so I sanded off the gold, um, whatever it's called, coating, to just get it, you know, a regular satin look. So, uh, but they do sell versions that just have this plain colored steel liners. I just happened to get the gold one and didn't like it so I sanded it off. Um, let me wipe off the blade here real quick and let's talk about some specs on the Praxis. So this is a big knife, full-size knife most definitely. We have an overall length of 8.45 inches and I don't even think my ruler is big enough. Yeah. Well yeah, 8.45 inches. We have a blade thickness of 0.12 inches. It's a very thin, very slicey blade. I love, love the blade shape on this knife, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. We have a blade length of 3.75 inches, or 3 and 3 quarters inch. And we have a weight of 4.42 ounces. So, not a light knife, but not overly heavy either. The blade steel on the Praxis is 9CR13 MOV, which is not the best steel in the world, but you know, actually this blade, uh, or the, uh, sorry, the edge has held up very well for me. Uh, they must have just done a really good job on the heat treat uh, because I, I, I really have no complaints about this edge and I, I've used it quite a bit and only ever stropped it. It seems to retain an edge pretty well. So those are the specs. Let's talk about the knife. Well, actually, you know what? Let's do some size comparisons first for the Praxis. Let's look at it up against a couple of Benchmades. 
Benchmade Mini Adamus and the Benchmade Bug Out. Let me line up the pivots there for you. So you can see, you know, pretty big knife, bigger than both of these. How about up against some Spyderco's? The Spyderco PM2 and the Spyderco Manix 2. Get these. Actually, you know what? I kind of like looking at them, you know, lined up this way rather than pivot to pivot. I think you, it's easier to see, compare that way. So it's longer than both. It's longer than the PM2 and a bit even longer than the Manix 2. Big knife. The PM2 is considered, you know, definitely a full size knife and it's bigger than that. So there you go. How about the old rat pack? The old dirty rat pack. A rat one and rat model two. Just about the same exact size as the Rat Model 1. Well, the Rat Model 1 is slightly bigger. I'd say 3 16 bigger. So that's a good comparison for you. Rat 1 a very big knife. About the same size, a little bit bigger than the Praxis. All right, let's talk about it. The ergos on this knife are great. Very, very good. Um, you do have some kind of notches here for your fingers, but they're not overly deep, um, you know, so you don't feel very, you know, super confined to this specific grip. You know, you could move around a bit and, it, you know, you don't feel too locked in. You have a nice little thumb ramp here with some pretty wide space jimping. Not my favorite kind of jimping, but it works just fine. And my favorite part about the knife, or one of them, is you can choke up. If you know me, you know that I love to choke up on my knives. I love to get real nice and close to that edge. It just feels feels good. It feels like this is how you should hold the knife. Um, but you don't need to. You can hold it back here perfectly comfortably as well. Really, really like this um, this forward finger choil. Is you know it has ample space. Um, a lot of finger choils are small, and you're kind of up on that edge a little bit too close for comfort but this one is perfect in my opinion very very good um, we have an okay pocket clip not the best in the world it's not inset but we do have flat headed screws so they're not poking up too much or at all um, yeah not a huge fan of the clip but it works fine got a g10 backspacer with your lanyard hole in it and the g10 um, it's not perfectly flat. We got a little bit of contouring here around the edges. So that adds to the comfortability. Comfortability? Comfortableness? I don't know. You know what I'm saying. Adds to the comfortability of the knife. The action. Very, very, very good. Detent. Extremely nice. You can do the push button technique on the flipper tab or a light switch. Either works very well. Push button is my preferred method. Just flies open. Stings on bearings, you can tell. Doesn't quite fall shut, but one little nudge and it's fallen. It's fallen all the way, baby. Centering is perfect. Zero blade play, love that, love, love, love that. And another thing I love, we have all T8 hardware all the way around. Pivot, body screws, well, not the, the clip screws are, um, what are they, T6? Let's see, let's double check. T6, yep. So pocket clip screws are, are T6, but that's okay. I, I just hate it when the body screws are T6, and I've actually seen a few pivots that are T6, which is absolutely insane. So I love to see that, love to see that um, for the screws. And what else? Love the blade shape. We have kind of a, a leaf-shaped blade. 
very thin behind the edge, very thin, very thin blade stock. This thing slices so well, so, so well. Really, really just love the blade shape. It, you know, it looks great. It functions very well, very utilitarian. And um, yeah, that's about it. I wish, I'm not the hugest fan of having the, the Civivi kind of C there on all of their pivots. Um, not a huge fan, but we don't have any billboarding or logos on the blade at all, which I really like. Um, I don't, I can't think of any Civivi knives that have any kind of billboarding on the blades, so you got to give them credit for that. I like the finish on the blade. It's a nice satin. Um, love this swedge, how that looks, carrying all the way down. And I love how this flat area, you know, how the, the swedge kind of interacts with the bevel and the flat part. It just looks great. I, I like that little area. The edge is very far from the plunge grind, so sharpening this knife is a breeze. And that's about it. Really, really like the knife. I, I re highly recommend it, and I believe they're only about 50 bucks, which is amazing. So that's the Civivi Praxis. <coughs> Next. We got a button lock, it's the Civivi Cogent. Good knife. This is one of the first, I believe, if not the first, button lock that Civivi came out with very recently. And since this knife was released, they have come out with a lot more button locks, uh, some of which I I really like the look of, some of some others not quite so much um, but this is one of my favorites of the bunch uh, there's one other that I like the at least the look of I haven't tried it yet or handled it yet called the conspirator which um, I think looks a little eh, it looks a little better than this one but I really like it um, and I think it's got some redeeming qualities um, so let's go over the specs here we have a length of 7.88 inches or seven and a little a little over seven and three quarters inch we have a blade thickness of 0.12 inches which is ex actually exactly the same as the praxis so exactly the same blade stock there we have a blade length of 3.47 inches or looks like about a little over three and three eighths inch we have a weight of 3.82 ounces and a blade steel material of 14 c 28 n which i really like uh, in my opinion it is the best steel for a knife in this price range great edge retention very easy to sharpen this thing uh, takes a very very slicey very fine edge really really like it the ergos on this knife are not quite as good as on the praxis uh, but still very good now I, I have added an aftermarket thumb stud on this knife because it's something that I really wish it had and some of CBB's other button locks they've come out with recently do have thumb studs um, and I wish this one did which is why I put this on this is kind of a, a fun thing to have though. I, I believe they're made by Buck and they're advertised as being on a Buck 110 knife um, so that you can slow roll it out. I don't think you're gonna be flipping open a Buck 110. Um, but I saw them on Blade HQ and I got a couple because I, I wanted to throw them on a couple of my knives just to kind of see how they would be with, with, uh, with thumb studs. And it's kind of fun. Um, I, I threw it on the Praxis for, I had them on here for a little while. Um, that was kind of fun. And um, But I, I think they work very, very well on this knife, so I, I've left it on. Um, so that does affect the ergonomics a bit. Um, you know, where I would put my thumb normally, I have this kind of hump here. Um, but without it, the ergonomics are, are, are great, I, I would say. Not fantastic, but great. 
Um, you do have a little area to choke up. You know, it's not really a pronounced finger choil like on the Praxis, but it's a little area that you can rest your finger. A um, little bit crammed, not perfect, but if you need to choke up, you can. Um, we have similar little finger grooves here, um, but like on the Praxis, they're not too pronounced. You don't feel um, too confined to that space. And the pocket clip is the exact same pocket clip as the Praxis, so you already know my feelings on that. Not great, not horrible, works all right. Tent is great on this knife. I'm not sure if it's going to pick up on the camera, but it makes a ting when it opens, and I love that in a knife. I love to hear the ting. Uh, the button lock <clears throat> works great Pretty much falls shut or not pretty much it does fall shut This is the first bucket uh, blah, 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 blah. God I stumble over my words at least once every single video <sighs> This was my first button lock and for quite a while the only not the only but the main button lock in the knife world was a Malibu, a Protec Malibu, which is, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And this was the first budget button lock, at least that I'm aware of. So this allowed, you know, us poor folks <laughs> a chance to check out a button lock for the first time. And uh, boy, is it nice. I, I mean, I would say it's the easiest and most straightforward means of locking out a knife and operating a knife. You know, what could be simpler than pushing a button to close a knife? It's pretty much as simple as it gets. Action is amazing. Uh, the, the flipper tab is pretty small, but as you can see, as you're, you're uh, you know, pushing it down, since there's this cutout in the G10 and the liners, you know, it kind of, it, it gives you room to get that leverage you need right in this area and you can fail it, but if you mean to flip it at all, it's coming out for sure. It's pretty hard to fail this one. I handed this knife to my dad who has never used a flipper tab in his life and he got it first try. So that tells you something about how good the detent is. This knife is just really fun to operate. Uh, it's great. Um, you can do the reverse flick using the thumb studs if you add these on or if you have the coated blade there's actually enough friction that you can get here studs on so that's great that's it just makes this knife even more fun to operate and um, I could just sit and do this for hours it's great <laughs> great 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 so some cons, oh, speaking of cons, I didn't really have any cons for the Praxis. I thought about it for a while. I guess the only real con would be the blade steel, but again, for the price, it's not horrible. I wish it was in 14C28N, but if there was a con for this knife, the Praxis, that would be the only one I could even remotely be able to think of. So that says something about the knife. On this knife, the only cons I can think of is it doesn't come with thumb studs, which I wish it did, and the centering is a little bit off. Actually, quite a bit off. I wonder, let's do this live on camera. Do you think I can tighten that pivot and get it to go away? I don't think so. I believe I've tried this before. Let me get my driver out. Nope. I'll mess around with it a little bit. I might be able to get it centered, um, but when I it, when I got it from CVV brand new, it was a little bit off centered even then. Um, so not not great, but we have zero zero blade play at all any direction. So it's not the worst of things. It's just kind of annoying when your knife isn't centered. It doesn't necessarily affect anything uh, unless it's really really off. It's just a, a minor annoyance. Um, Left-handed, I can operate this knife 
<laughs> almost just as well as I can right-handed, which is saying something because I am the opposite, the opposite of ambidextrous. Um, so this knife is a, a great, a great knife for both left and right-handers, or you ambidextrous freaks out there. Um, love the knife, highly recommend it. Um, and there you go. These are my some of my two favorite CVV knives and some of my favorite budget knives in general. Once again, the CVV Praxis and the CVV Cogent. There they are, folks. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and do all that cool stuff for me. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Adios.